I've been making vlogs for close to seven years now. Um, I've made hundreds of them and they've always been a way for me to one, express myself to keep you guys um, in the know of what's going on with our business behind the scenes and really just talk about anything that <clears throat> that I'm going through. There have been many videos I've made that were difficult to make or difficult to put out. A lot of the difficulty comes from vulnerability, right? It's, it's something that's kind of weighing on your chest and, and you, you need to get it out and this has always been a way for me to do so. I've said it many times but I was never good at like expressing myself growing up to my friends and family or whatever but the camera has always been a way that I became really comfortable doing so. And a lot of the videos that I make that are difficult for me to post online, they're difficult because I know that it's something that's tough to share, but I know it will feel good on the other side. This is not that video. This is an extremely difficult video to make. Earlier this week on Monday, I decided to let go of two of our full-time employees, Ike and Animal. Both of those guys have been full-time in the office for, you know, since we had it 10 or 11 months. And then prior to that, we had done a weekly Fade the Public podcast um, that I'm sure some of you guys have seen. Ike is not, not really someone who's been on camera a lot uh, as it relates to YouTube, but he did a lot of video editing work for us. Animal's was on the Faith the Public podcast, and I'm sure you guys have seen him before. Since we had got into the office, I made a video about this uh, a month and a half ago, midway through December. I was talking about how I wasn't happy with the direction that the office was going for many reasons, right? And again, it started it started with me from the top down. I'm accountable for how I act, how the people in here act, and the direction of, of what we're doing in here. And I basically just said I wasn't happy with the behavior of everyone internally including myself and you know that wasn't like i'm getting rid of everybody at that time it was like all right we're going to tighten up and we're going to have very very clear directions deliverables and tasks moving forward from that point so we had you know an all hands-on meeting whenever the date of that video was it was a couple days prior i believe and there were people that disagreed with the way i went about that video and ultimately there are there are going to be people that disagree with everything that i do and everything that i say which is fine because everybody has different points of view and everybody would do things differently in different situations that's both the blessing and the curse of, of trying to push something forward so i don't want to get into a ton of details uh about everything but again these these vlogs and these videos were always ways that I can give you glimpses into what's going on in our world for better or for worse and hopefully connect to you guys on some sort of relatability level that brings you some sort of value you know whether it's information or entertainment or feeling less alone and that's a lot of the times what these tougher videos to make are but ultimately like I said you know we had the all hands-on meeting I let everybody know the direction of the company moving forward. We had one-on-ones. I sat down with each individual employee and I was extremely direct about each task that each person needed to accomplish. Some of them were daily, some of them were monthly, some of them were over a four month period. And on the flip side, I was extremely clear about what would happen if these tasks weren't complete. And of course, when you come to the realization that that's what needs to be done, it's it's an extremely difficult internal battle because as the leader here, it's like, man, when I lay down rules and they're not followed, and I also say, this is what's gonna happen if they're not followed, and then I don't follow through with that, like how can I respect myself as a leader? I also feel like it shows a lack of respect for other people. Um, in the office associated with the brand, I had to take myself out of the equation there, completely non-personal, unemotional, and make a decision that I thought was the right decision for someone trying to run a company and for the future of it. Absolutely nothing on a personal level. Like you guys know the relationship that myself and Ike and myself and Animal have had dating back quite a while. Um, I still love and I care about those guys as friends and as individuals outside of what we're doing for work. And as a lot of people say, it's extremely difficult to mix business with friends. And sometimes it results in situations like this where it's extremely hard not to take these things personally and see these things as personal. But as the person that steers this ship, man, it, it, they were the two most difficult conversations I've ever had in my life. and. My ultimate objective was to unemotionally remove myself from the situation and strictly look at it from 
employer to employee and ultimately do what I thought was best for the future of, of the company. And I know, you know, it may seem harsh. It may seem like, oh, you know, it was just these like deliverables. You could have given warnings, et cetera. The meetings that we had and the all hands on and the one on ones were the warnings. Those were the, hey, I'm not happy with the direction of everything going on here. So here is what I need from you. Here is when I need it by. So I just want to clear the air there. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are big fans of Animal. A lot of you guys are big fans of Ike. And I hope you keep cheering for them. I hope you continue to be fans of them. They're both very good dudes. They're both dudes that I enjoyed spending time with. And I'm sorry if I'm coming off, you know, extremely like bland or um, unemotional. Obviously, this has been a really, really emotional week for all parties involved. I've been on all sides of something like this situation. I've been let go from a job that I really, really was passionate about. I've been in an office when other people were let go. And now, unfortunately, I've been the one to have to do that. Everything about it sucks. Everything about it is shitty. The only thing we can do is continue to put our head down, work as hard as we possibly can, continue to provide value for you guys. And that's really it. So yeah, I, I just wanted to give you guys a quick, I don't know, update, I guess, on what's happening here internally.